Alright, welcome back to Star Wars Jedi The Fallen Order. If I only had called this Pokemon for some reason, just because I've got Pokemon on the brain at the moment. Obviously, we've just acquired the wall running ability. And I've decided we're going to do things a little bit weirdly in this episode because, um, basically, I really want to split the, um, the Ogda Bogda boss fight into its own video. Um, just to make it so that it's easy for people to find that maybe seeking how to defeat it. Um, so basically we're going to get to the point where I think it'll be easy to defeat. I'll defeat it in a separate video which will be the video directly after this one and I'll leave um, a link in the pinned comment because I find that's the easiest way to do it. And then basically this episode will finish off the area and we'll leave but the actual defeating of the boss won't be in this episode. Um, and then you'll kind of see it afterwards. I don't know whether or not that's going to make sense when I do it. I'm just, it's going to be a bit of an experiment. But um, that's my plan anyway. Uh, if, it, if it ends up coming out quite badly, then when it, when it comes to doing future ones, then I'll, I'll maybe try a different different method. So these guys are going to come and try and face me. Wow, there's so many. That's pretty good. Cool. So with those down, let's give them a scan. I'll check it out. Giving these scans gives us the extra XP, which is just lovely. Thank you very Good much. Splocks. And uh, you. Um, so they are kind of like. There's multiple routes to get to the same place on this little bit of a. Someone may camp here. Bit of a You're rock here. To discover a giant creature that lives close um, by. So as you'll see, a those bugs all just came up this way to us just there, and then we have. Continuation of this plan, just uh, this area, just here. There should be like a, yeah, this one here, fleas. Look, um, <laughs> when I first came here, I was like, nice try. <laughs> really nice try, and that's the area the way where, where, where the rest of the bugs were. So it kind of tries to knock you off into an ambush. Um, just don't get caught out by that. Okay, so, with all that done, upwards we go. Probably should have rested so they could reset my uh, my heals, but I'm not too worried if I'm honest. We're okay for now. Ooh. There we are, that's you down, you down, you down, that's the way to continue. Don't forget this. Scomp will be repaired, yeah, so we have to repair it somehow. <laughs> But we don't do that for a little while, so it's all good. Find something, BD1? Uh, if I'm right, there's nothing else really to see around here rather than. I didn't really know that. It's supposed to be. It kind of acts like a dog. Sometimes it likes to bask and roll over and stuff in the sun. It's a bit weird. That's everything in Star Wars, right? So, uh, across we go. Um, and you should recognise this bit because we've been here before, look. Only now, I believe we want to do it from up here. Do do do. Where is he there? Ancient vault. Oh, it's on. Uh, so nothing. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. Rest on the way in or the way out, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're not going to be facing off against any bosses just yet. Not much to be said. I'm just gonna go ahead and interact with this. What's that?
You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the force be with you. Oh, thank you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? <laughs> cool. So, feel free to have a look around in there. Um, I couldn't find anything of importance, so I think I found what you wanted me to let me know see. if you uh, if you happen to come across some kind of like amazing secret. But we'll be waiting. Don't think so. We're gonna have another one of the uh, the big toad things uh, pop up just here, uh, and I find this is a pretty good time to practice fighting against it if you want to. So when it's red, you want to dodge, okay? When it does one of its melee attacks, you want to parry it. Ooh. And give it a couple of slashes. Now. I'm trying to get it to do its tongue attack, uh, as it's a bit of a secret um, method to to defeat it. Come on, its leashing points becoming a problem. Come on. So you want to slow it when it does this, and then you can. Ah, oh, if you can hit its tongue, you can insta kill it. But uh, I'm not very good at doing it. <laughs> Okay, apparently it's not dense skill. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not very good at doing it, but yeah, that's basically what you want to try and do. Or, alternatively, the best thing is to parry it. In my opinion, and then get out of the way. Well, oh, that's the worst one because it because the way it stuns you. Cool, down it goes. I can never get the uh, the tongue. It's supposed to be an insta kill if you can hit the tongue, but I, I can never seem to do it. But uh, the reason I would recommend practicing against that is because that's basically what the boss is going to be. Um, it's just going to be kind of a, a stronger ver variant of it. But we are going to do it the easy way, 
which you'll see in a sec. Which, well, you won't see in this video, you'll see in the one after it. I apologise if uh, if it's not exactly how you would like it to be, but I, I just really want to have the boss battles separate to, to me, like kind of exploration videos. Another one? I'll check it out. Cool, thank you very much. Not really much else to see, I don't think there's a drop off there. It looks like there is, but. No, don't go, don't go off there. It's just bad for you. Um, you see, again, this area is quite strange. You end up with a thing here that I don't don't think you can open it from right here. The store's not budging. Locked from the side, so you can't get into there just yet. Um, but instead, you just kind of go here this way. Nice assist. Jump across. Uh, and then this takes us to where... After the cutscene, of course. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in death up here. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. So, through we go. Let's go yeah, as you can see... We should take a rest here. Don't have any more skill points yet, although we may end up with the skill point after defeat the enemy that I want to. If we're just a little bit off, then I may actually go ahead and kill a few more enemies. Uh, but essentially what you're going to want to do from here is come across this way. Latch onto that bad boy. This way. So this, is where, this is where we're probably going to end up with a bit of a break in the episode. Uh, as the boss we're going to face is down there, look. Uh, that's what we're essentially going to do. Uh, much like the first one that we fought, we're going to go ahead and get a drop attack on it uh, and then start the fight from there. So there's going to be a little bit of a cut. Uh, I'll probably be in the same place except for that thing will be dead. And then the video after this one will be me fighting against. Ogdo Bogdo, as it's called down there. So, catch you guys in a second. Okay, so, <laughs> if you guys have had the patience to put up with me, uh, thank you very much so far. We can now continue onward uh, with one dead Ogdo Bogdo down in the pit. Uh, we can go ahead and continue making our way back towards the ship, essentially. So, we're going to come along this way. Get yeah, lost there, we're going to get on there. Uh, as I predicted, we are quite close to a level up, so I am going to go ahead and find some enemies to defeat. Probably. So I don't think there's anything to fight up here. So let's go ahead and find a couple of bugs. We just we don't need a lot, so Whoa! I nearly jumped off. That's quite funny. Let's go and take a rest here, I don't wanna die unnecessarily. Leave. over this way, you know, it shouldn't be too difficult for us to uh, take advantage of. <laughs> you can't catch me with the crop. Come on then. It's them two. Oh. You know what? I never even thought to come up here before. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Yeah, you ain't getting across there. I feel like this is just... Um, Bit of sightseeing. Isn't this the hole where the thing was looking down at us? 
No, it's not. It's one that's got things in. Okay, yeah, we need to go down there. Let's go down there. Why did I not know this was here? Well, that just made this better for everybody. You definitely want to go down here because that's an extra heal. Okay, so I guess the reason that I didn't come down here before is because there's actually a, we're actually going to be coming down here later then. Okay, that's cool. I think it's fair to say I haven't completed the entire game, but um, it's certainly very nice to find. Thanks, BD1. That's going to increase the amount of heals that we can have by one. My loyal followers never even told me that was there. <laughs> okay, so. With that done, we can now go ahead and defeat this guy. It's not giving me an extra skill point that I want yet, though. So, go ahead and find a couple more enemies, I will. Lots of blizzards everywhere. Look how crazily he runs. It's quite funny. A couple more bugs over there, though. It shouldn't take me long. Doodoo, doodoo. Come on, I just want one skill point. Ouch. To you. <laughs> Interesting, these aren't even giving me XP now. Quickly, quickly. Sorry guys, it's gonna add ages to it, isn't it? I wonder why these aren't giving me any speed. Can I get some aid? That's really weird. Oh, the skill point's gone up. Oh, whoops, I didn't realize we'd proct it. Okay, let's get out of here. I guess there's a limit to how much it'll let you farm. Alright, let's get out of here. We got time for this. Is there going to be another bogged thing? There is. That's a lot, by the way, if that tongue gets you. <laughs> so funny to watch. Wow, not even that gives you XP. It's interesting. It's like there's a hard lock of three skill points in here. We're in a good, pretty good position. Uh, we're already on one more heal than my, uh, <laughs> my main playthrough was on at this point, which is kind of hilarious. 
That's gonna be the pull oh, power later there. on. Let's get going, BD1. No falling off, please. As far as I'm aware, the uh, the boss thing doesn't respawn. No, so you can't farm that. And then we're going to come to the end of the episode. We'll play the. Uh, Let's go, BD1. Play the cinematic point. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1. Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> Get off my sofa! Get, Get off my sofa! Go! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patchouli bean fabric? Not really. <laughs> oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I... Cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death mirrors Zepho. It's your choice. So, uh, in the next video after the boss fight, so in terms of progress, uh, we're going to have a quick detour to Dathomir, which is quite a high level area, uh, but we're just going to pick something up. Uh, it's basically going to be a dual lightsaber. Uh, and we're going to get a bit earlier just because it's quite nice and it's going to be good to get used to it. So, uh, hopefully you guys will join me for that, and I'll see you all in the next one.